What is going on everybody? I'm Noah Kravitz, guest blogger for NVIDIA here at CES 2011 in Las Vegas. And uh, I'm in an undisclosed hotel room deep in the desert. Well, not really. I'm on the Las Vegas Strip. And uh, if I showed you the view out the window, you'd know exactly where I am. But you don't care about that. You care about the phone. I've got the LG Optimus 2X. This is one of the first in the new wave of super phones powered by NVIDIA's Tegra 2 technology. And uh, you know what? This thing, it's not a final build, not the final software, but even still, it's pretty hot. Let's take a closer look. All right, so right off the bat, I have no information for you on when or where or what carrier or all that stuff or what the price point's going to be and all that. So I'm not holding out on you. I'm not teasing till the end. I'm just saying we don't know yet. But we do know this phone is being announced here at CES. It's powered by Tegra 2, and it's got a one gigahertz dual core processor. So this is, you know, this is like like laptop desktop talk with the, the dual core processor. And I've been messing around with the phone for a while now. And again, it's not final software, but it's really zippy. It's running Android. Uh, not sure which version of Android it's going to launch with. And you know, even with the non-final final software, you can see it's really, you know, the apps are launching quickly, it's flying around, it's got a nice build to it. It's kind of got a nice in-between, you know, it's not uh it's not too lightweight as to feel, you know, plasticky or, or cheaply built, but it's also got a little it's lightweight, but it's also got a little bit of heft to it. It's got a nice soft grip plastic on the back. You can see the with go with Google logo. It's got an eight megapixel camera on the back side with a flash, and then on front. It's got a front-facing 1.3 megapixel camera, so you can do all those, you know, self-portrait shots. Or if you're not like me and you like talking to other people, you can probably do some video chatting, that kind of thing, with a front-facing camera. Uh, one of the cool things about this device, you can see here in the uh, camera app, this is the video mode, full HD, 1080p HD video capture, which is, uh, you know, pretty cool and, and, and pretty much unheard of in a mobile phone. It's got a... Uh, uh, HDMI mirroring via, wrong side there, via the uh, mini HDMI port on the top there, and it will do full HDMI mirroring. So there have been some Android phones that have come out recently where like, you can, you can shoot some of the stuff via HDMI to your, your monitor, some of the photos, some of the content, whatever. This will do full HDMI mirroring. So the UI, your apps, your photos, your videos, whatever you want to see, full HDMI out, very cool. Uh, again, it's got the uh, 8 megapixel camera on the back, the video we talked about, the uh, the flash as well, four inch WVGA screen, uh, 800 by 480. You've got uh, 1080p capture for the video we talked about, playback and recording, MPEG-4 format, uh, 1500 milliamp hour battery, eight gigs of memory internal and a micro SD slot so you can expand it out to 32 gigs. On top here, of course, your uh, 3.5 3.5, excuse me, millimeter headphone jack, which, you know, two years ago, I was on my soapbox talking about how I wish these companies would just own up and spend the 50 cents to put this jack in here, because it makes listening to music so much better. Now you've got a full-on multimedia beast, audio, video, whatever you want to do. You know, again, not final software, but it seems pretty good. Uh, one thing that's kind of interesting on the bottom, these capacitive touch buttons, a little bit different than your standard Android layout, kind of a new look there for the menu button over on the left. So, you know, some, something to set it apart from the pack. But all in all, you know, it's a nice look. Uh, looking forward to hearing more about the specifics about release date, globally, US, wherever, all that stuff. But, uh, you know, off the bat, very impressive. Uh, I'm working for NVIDIA here, but, but in all honesty, it's an impressive piece of kit especially for a non-final unit, very psyched to see this in shipping form. It's the LG Optimus 2X, powered by NVIDIA's Tegra 2 processor. Again, the uh, key points here, one gigahertz dual core processor and full 1080p video recording and playback. And it's got this nice shiny little bit on the back with the With Google logo. How can you go wrong with that? From CES 2011 in Las Vegas, I'm Noah Kravitz for the NVIDIA blog. Much, much more from NVIDIA from the desert. <laughs>